Well, for decades, the world-famous murals have drawn visitors to Shimanis from up and down Vancouver Island and from around the world. But the little town that could says it still can and will do more. The community is embarking on what may be its most ambitious project so far, a tribute to one of Canada's greatest painters, Emily Carr. CTV's Aaron Glazier reports. Coming face to face with a mural in Chimanus is a sure bet. It may look like a sleepy little town, but it's known for its lively art. Today, a proposal for a new piece has everyone talking. We created a, and built a new vision for Chimanus, uh, for the municipality of North Cowichan. And we're going forward uh, with that spirit in mind. The 3D mural sculpture, the first of its kind, was getting all the attention at the Shemanis Festival of Murals luncheon. The piece will be a collaboration between more than 100 artists, and it will showcase the special relationship between famous Canadian painter Emily Carr and First Nations peoples. The, the Thunderbird there is um, one of the one of the main uh, crests and beliefs in our tradition and culture up and down uh, up and down the coast of British Columbia. I see a way of um, communicating to the world what Emily Carr meant, her, her deep love for the First Nation, her deep love for the forests. Carr was no stranger to the area. She painted Shamanus Bay in 1924 while visiting the valley, a painting that is currently in the collection of the Calgary Glenbow Museum. But this larger-than-life piece, designed to be 14 meters high by 7 meters wide, will be open to the public at all times. Right now, all her art is in, in, um, in galleries, private collections. This way, with the outdoor art gallery of America, we hope to bring her art amongst the people so we can share it all together. A location for the proposed mural sculpture has not been chosen, but a site that would be visible by both land and sea is preferable. A new tourist draw in line with the North Cowichan's new economic revitalization plan passed just 10 days ago. It's going to be great for tourism, great for Shemanus, and a great economic, uh, economic incentive to, to Shemanus. And speaking of dollars, the fundraising effort for this iconic piece is now underway. Schultz and his committee hope to raise a few hundred thousand dollars through personal, corporate and government help before breaking ground in May of 2012. So the little town that could can have a big new attraction to brag about. Aaron Glazier, CTV News.